People are still asking, what else is wrong with HB897? This is Dr. Mary Kay Bacayao for Academic Freedom, here to explain the issues. In part one, we discovered that HB897 expands the authority of the appointed State Board of Education. The State Board will go from establishing competencies for reading, writing, and math to mandating content standards for those subjects and more. Now, science and social studies standards will be mandated by the unelected State Board of Education. Why? Authority is needed to force the Common Core Social Studies and Common Core Next Generation Science Standards on all Georgia school districts. But who owns the Next Generation Science Standards? Achieve does, along with the NGA and the CCSSO. But they don't stop there. Authority is also expanded to include state-mandated content standards for agriculture, architecture, arts, business, education, finance, health science, hospitality, human services, information technology, law, manufacturing, government, marketing, science, transportation, and more. It just so happens that these same career clusters are trademarked and copyrighted by the National Association of State Directors of Career Technical Education Consortium. And you guessed it, Achieve. Achieve and Company. There's a common thread with Achieve and Company. Just what does this company intend to do? This is a clear encroachment of the authority of local school boards. Parents, students, remember what has been removed from the law. Freedom is removed. These are no longer competencies for which each student should be provided opportunities at the discretion of the student and the student's parents to master. No, they are state-mandated content standards that have been expanded. Freedom is under attack. State representatives vote no to HB 897. Citizens, contact your state representatives and urge them to vote no to House Bill 897. These are not the only problems with House Bill 897. In the next video, we will talk more about issues with House Bill 897. Thank you. This has been Dr. Mary Kay Bacayao for Academic Freedom.